this is Ted Flutt of Golden Skate, and I'm very excited to be joined by Evgeny Medvedeva. Hi! Hello. Now world bronze medalist, two-time world champion, Olympic silver medalist. We're here actually at the Stars on Ice Canada Tour. Evgeny, you are the first Russian, apparently, in recent history, or maybe the history of the full tour, to be a Russian uh, participating in the tour. How does it feel? Uh, it feels like I thought that I'm first because uh, Canada and Russia are so far apart. <laughs> so um, I'm supposed to be the first. <laughs> uh, so it, I feel here so good. Uh, all the guys and uh, um, all of us are so friendly and we are really happy to spend the time here together. We are really having a lot of fun, but sometimes I feel like out of my plate like you know it's like um i feel strange and uh sometimes awkward because um english is not my main language and sometimes i don't understand what guys saying i don't understand any uh, jokes okay like humor is just other stuff it's really difficult for some of um, so some of us. <laughs> sure, sure. Yeah, and uh, for me either, and uh, any kind of jokes I really don't understand. Uh, but in a total, it's really so good experience for me to be here with uh, Canadian skaters. And uh, I've got a lot of friends here, and that's so cool. Okay. Kurt Browning is quite sort of a, a comedic guy. He's always sort of a, a, a real hand. Yeah. Is, is his humor the one that, the, sort of the, the humor that's kind of so lost the most? I mean, I mean, not humor in uh, general. Okay. I mean, some of the jokes that I don't gotcha. understand the meaning. Yep. And sometimes that's like, <laughs> <laughs> you, do the, you do the fake laugh. Uh, yeah, it's <laughs> yeah, like, okay. I'm pretending that I understood, but I'm not. <laughs> mm. Now, um, you've now been training in Canada for almost a year, the, the full year in Toronto. Yeah. Is this your first opportunity on this tour to see more of Canada? Yes, exactly. And um, before moving to Toronto, I've been in Canada only once. And, Mississauga? Yes, for, yeah. for Skate Canada yeah, in 2016. For Skate Canada, yeah. Yes. Which uh, you won. Hmm? Which you won. Yes. Well done, well done. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> uh, so, and now I'm just um, going around the whole Canada. It's 12 cities and it's just amazing. Uh, I never dreamed to be uh, like with these guys, to skate with them, to have fun in the shows and to see a whole country, that's really amazing. Mm -hmm. And you're skating, and one of your routines is to skate to Ariana Grande, which yeah. is a bit of a departure, we would think, for you in terms of your competitive and, and your programs. Yeah. Was that an easy choice to make? And, and that was, was a really easy uh, choice. And, um, oh, sorry. Uh, Ariana just is, she's so amazing. I'm a huge fan of her and of her music, of her style and everything. Mm -hmm. Uh, she's really cute. She's tiny, but she's so such a hard worker, and we all can see this on the stage how how she's working every day. And uh, like I love the song, I love uh, movie, mm -hmm. I love uh, the style, and I just thought, why not? <laughs> Were you involved in the in the, the costume design? Uh, quite quite specifically. Why everyone so care about my costume? It's so this? bright. It's it's pink. It's, it's so flamboyant. bright, it's like, yeah. and I think that's so cool because <laughs> like it's a crop top and a high waist skirt and like nothing special in it. Right, right, right. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Now, Evgeny, when you look pat look back at this past season, yeah. lots have changed. First season following the Olympics. Can you think of one lesson that, that really stands out to you that you've learned this past season? Or, or are there more than one? I've learned really a lot. And um, even this past season was um, much more important for me as a person than Olympic season. Because uh, I went through really a lot of things last season, or whole last year. Uh, I think um, my last year, I mean from January to December, mm -hmm. uh, was like the brightest year in my life 
So there was this Olympics, change, change coaches, change lifestyle, like total, total changes. Yeah. And this is amazing because uh, for me it's really important that I went through all of this. Uh, and that was really a lot of moments that I've been disappointed in myself. And I felt so, uh, so bad about myself. And when I uh, looked in, in the mirror, I just really hated myself because uh, I can't do nothing that I really want to do. But every day, hard work and a gym and a rink, like practices, practices, nutrition, sleep, recovery, everything. And finally, I've got the result and I think that just now I'm confident in myself that if I went through that time, I will do it again. So now I've got injury and I'm recovering and it's really so hard for me now because like jumps feel is not so good. But I just really confident in myself that I can. So I did it last year. I did it this season. So why I can do this? Yeah. What do you, I mean, that would come as a surprise to a lot of people that someone with your track record and your excellence in skating would, you know, would be disappointed in yourself or would lack confidence or struggle with that. What did you tell yourself to get yourself back into the right mindset, for example, you know, at, at the World Championships to, to get back on the podium? Uh, like, I never thought to um, finish my skating. Like, I never thought to re about retiring and everything. Um, did some people suggest that to you? Uh, suggest what does it mean? Did they, did they, did they propose? Did they, did they say, hey, Evgenia, you should retire? Oh, a lot of my haters say that. A lot of your haters? A lot okay. of my haters. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Silence to the haters. Yeah. And um, Was it like, hurtful? Uh, for first times, yes. And I was okay. like, why? Why I have to? But now just I'm owner of my life and I can do whatever I want. Mm -hmm. I can stay, I, I can skate in a like uh, total covered outfit and I can skate in a pink one. So I, nobody can tell me what to do. And mm -hmm. it, that's so good. I will listen to the uh, people who uh, I really respect. It's my coaches, it's my friends, it's my um, family and and everybody who helps me mm -hmm. and who trying to raise me up uh, but I don't listen to persons who are trying to pull me down it's like it's useless and it's bad for my future and I'm glad that I understand it mm -hmm. uh, so um, uh, why did I tell myself that um, I didn't tell myself something I just uh, I just did I just did. I woke up every morning. I uh, went to the gym for one hour, then a gym and uh, one hour and a half, and the evening after practices, uh, like five or three or four hours um, of practices, ice practices per mm -hmm. day, so whole day. And um, like my body is so weak, and I understand it that I really work hard every day, and. Um, that's it. So I just saw uh, in the World Championship the person that I kind of wanted to see in the mirror, but not not perfect that I really want. But I just saw the beginning of that person, and it really raised me up, and uh, I just felt the confidence in myself. Mm -hmm. When you uh, at the beginning of the beginning of the season, uh, when you were struggling on the Grand Prix series and didn't qualify for the final. How big a surprise was that for you? And was, was that something that you set you back or, or, or distracted you? To say that that was a surprise is gonna be really stupid. So that wasn't a surprise. And I felt myself, I felt that I'm not in that condition that uh, I can qualify to a uh, Grand Prix final. But I can say that uh, that pause was really good for me and uh, I pushed really hard in uh, that time mm -hmm. um, for nationals so my physical um, uh, physical Your condition condition yeah. physical condition was really good but my mental health was wasn't so good okay. and um, I wasn't ready like mentally 
Uh, and then in the uh, Russian Cup, I had a second opportunity to qualify to World, Cha world Championships. And uh, that was that was good. So in the body condition and mind condition was really, really good. Yeah. How nervous were you going into the Russian Cup? On the Russian Cup, I didn't nervous at all. Wow. Like I uh, was nervous in um, first, uh, like in all competitions before Russian Cup. I just in the Russian Cup, I just thought that, like, I already lose, <laughs> I already lose in the uh, uh, nationals. So I just will uh, come and do my uh, my job. Mm -hmm. I will do everything that in my power. Like even it's with the falls, even if it's with, with mistakes, I will do just everything that in my power for now, for that moment. Yeah. And uh, that's it. Mm -hmm. I just didn't care about the places, about qualify. I just wanted to prove myself that I can, and I did. Mm -hmm. at, at Russian Nationals, we saw, for example, on the streaming on YouTube, that the, the fans, the Russians, were really supportive of you and really yeah. excited to see you back in Russia, despite the struggles that you had. How did that feel? I mean, Brian, especially if the show program was really shocked because <laughs> we didn't expect this. We expected like the silence because like that was really bad. Mm. <laughs> that was really bad. That was horrible. And uh, like, yeah, <laughs> that was just, just bad. <laughs> but the crowd support me and uh, we just was like, how it's even possible? Right. And Brian said that he never saw something like this in his life. And it's really amazing. And then I started to trust myself, to believe in myself. And in a free program, that was much easier. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You obviously changed your short program yeah. mid, mid season. Uh, so you started with something, Natalie Cole, quite different for you, and then went to, to Tosca. What in, why did you make that decision? Uh, my goal in the beginning of the season was to change myself, to change myself um, like almost in everything. And that was the way to feel better. Okay. To feel better because I had a lot of like thoughts, a lot of pressure, a lot of like you know when a woman after breakup goes to um, to do the short haircut, mm -hmm. it's something like this. And also I did like I, I did the bangs, you had so the bangs, it, it, yeah, and it, and it's so long now it's like this. <laughs> so yeah, uh, now I feel so much feel much much better, and I can tell that I'm a really happy person now. Like as a person mm -hmm. in a life. Yeah. Did you feel more comfortable skating to Tosca than, than yeah, skating to Natalie yeah, Cole? Yeah. You did. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Was that always kind of the plan from the beginning? No. Okay. No. So you were gonna stick with no. Natalie Cole. No. Okay. Okay. Have you we know how important music is to you and how much you consume and listen to music. Have you already started thinking and putting together music for, for the next season? Uh, the show program is uh, Exogenesis yeah. uh, by Muse. Okay. And uh, free program is um, Memories of the Geisha. Okay, okay. Yeah, and uh, both of them was my decision. And um, it's two music that I sold about three years each. And um, yeah, for Exogenesis, um, I wasn't ready, like technically, mm -hmm. uh, about the skating, I mean. And uh, for uh, Memories of the Geisha, I wasn't uh, old enough mentally. <laughs> okay. All right. Other skaters have skated to, for example, both pieces. Yeah. Do you, do you look at their skating? Have you watched them? Or do you want to create something completely new for yourself? You want... So, um, it's impossible... It's almost impossible to do something new now in the figure skating. Mm. Just to jump... Um, <laughs> Five rotations, though, I don't know. Right, right, right. Uh, and, um, like, I want to create something my personal, not to try to change the story of the music. Mm -hmm. um, I would like just to skate with my own feelings. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, so, my last question this is now going into your second season training with. Brian and Tracy. Can you tell us what they mean to you and, and what you're looking forward to this next season with them? Um, for example, yesterday, because uh, now we're in Toronto, um, 
I stayed overnight at my home and um, yesterday I've been in a cricket club for a few hours to talk to Brian and Tracy and just to see them and I just like Tracy was so happy to see me <laughs> okay and uh, Brian been in um, uh, Tribune for the show mm -hmm. uh, so yeah and um, what they mean for me they mean um, like everything in uh, figure skating in my figure skating they're my support and I know that they uh, will support me in everything in every my decision and w they will help me to go forward as hard as they can excellent well congratulations on thank this you. season best of luck next season thank and you. thanks for chatting us today enjoy the rest of the stars on ace tour thank you thank you